Hey there. So what we're looking at here is a Japanese made Fender Strat. And it's a little bit uh, lesser known one because it's the Strat with the hardtail. And I believe they called this the 54. So it's kind of sort of 54 reissue. So you can see just looks like a telly on the back there with the string through and just a set bridge there uh, standard five-way switch and the other thing that's kind of neat on these is the really fat v-neck and when I say v-neck I don't mean soft v-neck I mean full V so you know on a soft V you kind of feel it down here around the first couple frets this one you can feel the V all the way up and down the neck and it is a chunk master in your hand. It's like uh, near baseball bat style but in a good way. Just really feels amazing. It's got vintage frets on it. Uh, this round string tree that's stock on these. The only thing not stock on this one is that pit guard. So this guy is ready for a setup. And first things first, I sight it down the neck. I see some relief, but I'm just gonna check Usually it. when I measure relief, if it's any more than 0 .010, that means I'm turning the truss rod to flatten it a little bit. And yeah, this has more than 0 .010. So tighten that truss rod a tiny little bit. Looking at the base of the neck here it says ST54-EX and then in the neck pocket written in pen is ST54NT which I assume means no tremolo and uh, this is a P plus six digit serial by the way forget what year I said this was uh, 93 to 94 if I read my serial number charts correctly uh, Trust rods in there a little ways, but I bet it's got room to go So I always loosen before we tighten and Yeah, it's got plenty of room to move That was about three quarters of a okay. turn got the neck back on tuned up Measuring relief it's point zero zero six now so a lot flatter how do you guys measure your relief? Do you do it where the body meets the neck? Do you fret there and then measure around the 8th fret? Or you do last fret and measure around the 12th fret? Sometimes I check them both. But I tend to go with the fret on the 17th, check at the 8th. Of course I got a capo on the 1st fret. So we're at about 0.006. I'm gonna see how it plays here. The action's at about 0 0.050. So nice and low right now. Let's see if that holds up. So with this neck set up like this and this nice low action, it's playing really well on the low frets. Just ringing true. And working my way up the neck it's really sounding good too so the neck seems to like this amount of relief That was easy. This is a nice guitar. Uh, yeah, just wants to play nice. I think the high E is the only one. I'm not sure about the ringing. Okay, I didn't show it on camera there, but uh, I just took the neck off and I just loosened the truss rod like a quarter turn. Um, 
So now it's at 0 .007 for relief and just felt like that let the strings ring a little freer and clearer. Um, still got nice low action, about 0 .060 I believe. Yeah, across the neck, 0 .060. And just seemed happier at, with a tiny bit more relief in the neck. So just checking the intonation. Tiny bit sharp on that one. Perfect. Probably gonna be sharp across the board here. Okay, so intonation's all done. Sounds great. The only thing I noticed when I was doing the intonation was maybe a slightly popped up portion of fret, right around the 15th fret. It's actually barely noticeable now, once I did the intonation on that string, but when I check the fret rocker, yeah, fret 15, just under the, let's see, the B, G, and D strings, just a little high. So here we go, just a quick little tap. And there we go, no more fret rocking. Check the next fret, it usually moves up. Yeah, at least under the D string it did. Okay, good there. Any more? No. We're good. Nice and flat like. No rocking. Okay, just a quick test of the electronics here. Oh, the pot sound quiet. Let's see the volume between the pickups. Bridge, middle. pickups uh, have a little something going on that's pretty cool. They just sound great. Just a little noisy. 
Jack says Japan on it. Uh, you can always clean the contact point with some sandpaper. But my go-to actually on these fender jacks is usually to roll up the sandpaper and then put it in the in the tube of the jack. These noisy fender jacks, if you can get that sandpaper rolled up and just kind of clean out the inner part. It also usually rubs against the uh, the contact point here while you're doing that so it's kind of a double whammy and we'll just take pliers and slightly bend that to see if it makes a little tighter contact with the, the jack that way okay <laughs> So now it's sitting in there nice and tight, not making any of that crackle crackle. And yeah, real tight connection there now. Okay, just to summarize what we did in this setup, the guitar is strung with tens. Check the electronics, check neck relief, change the old strings, polish the frets, set string height, set intonation, check pickup height, polish guitar, down tuned it for shipping. The string height is set at 0 .060 at the 12th. Neck relief is 0 .007 at the 8th. And if you got anything out of this video, please give it a like or comment down below. Thank you.